Hello, we're going to talk about picture days for students. Now, LifeTouch is the current vendor for student pictures, whether it be your original picture day, which happens early in the school year, or your makeup picture day, which happens a little bit later in case your child is absent on the day of pictures, or there's a problem with your order and you'd opt to redo your pictures. Now, this is the envelope that most students are going to be sent home one way or another, whether it's sent home by your teacher or it's at the office for parents to pick up or it's sent home in a take home folder. Either way, it gives you all the information that you need to know whether you're online ordering or you're or using the envelope for paper ordering. Those are the two methods to order. And so when it's starting off with what's on this envelope that you're going to use for online ordering, well, it's this code right up here. See this code with letters? It's your picture day ID. It's usually in multiple places, but that you're going to use that for online ordering and we'll talk about that in a second. But it'll identify which particular picture day it's talking about. So you have to use the specific code on the envelope for the specific day. You can't use, for example, the code for the original picture day on the makeup day. It has to be a new envelope for every specific day. All right. So now uh, we'll talk about the paper envelope later when we get back to it, if you're going to use this method. Let's start with the online ordering method, because that's going to be the most common way that people order. And on the right, you're going to see a desktop or computer view. It's a little bit bigger and more spacious, where you're just going to go to the right side of the screen and click on picture day ID to make sure that's selected. And you're going to enter that code that we just talked about, that picture day ID. Don't click on student ID. Most people do not know what their child's student ID is, and it's time consuming to look it up and get it to every single person who asks. It's just a lot easier that you use the information that's provided for you by way of this picture ID. If you're looking on the left here, this is the way a mobile view looks like. It's a little more condensed and vertical, of course, but you just same thing. You start by in entering in that code. And so now we're going to continue on this process where if you're going to do an online order, the next page is going to actually give you the information of your school and what picture day it's talking about. And then you just put in your type in your child's first name, you type in their last name, you select from the menu what grade they're in and what your relationship is if let's say you're a parent or a guardian or another kind of relative. And then you're going to cl click on the button at the bottom that just allows you to continue forward with the process. It's a big blue button. And then on the next page you're going to see finally all the packages that you can choose from. And when you click on a package it's going to expand it and visually show you what's included. And so if I chose the basic package, for example, that would expand and show me what things are included. And most importantly, the basic package, the cheapest one, usually does not have a bigger picture. It doesn't have an 8x10, for example. So you can choose to add that on as an add-on. And so if I choose this package, it'll show me different photos and gifts, extra additional things you can add on. Um, as well as enhan enhancements on another screen. You can do prints or digital versions of accessories and additional gifts. So if I wanted to add on an 8x10 to that package, I would click on customize to customize this or choose it. And I would just keep going through all the things that it throws my way. Or if I don't want to do that, then I can just click on done shopping and go to my cart. And I put in first as my student's first name, hypothetically, and that way it'll personalize your shopping cart by having your child's name here with their order. And then you can click on the shopping cart too to go to that. And when you click on your shopping cart, it'll show you what's in your shopping cart and you can choose to remove things or change the quantity. And then from there, if you scroll to the bottom of the cart, you're going to see here your total. What's I only just chose that package, which is why it's only $14.99. And you can check out with the PayPal service if you have an account with them, or you can just choose checkout to enter your credit card information. If you have multiple students at the same school, you can choose shop for a next student, and it'll keep this in your cart, and you can do the same thing again for another student that's at your school. Now, um, when it comes to... Um, using your credit card information and when you click on the checkout button you're just going to click on the dial that shows the credit cards that you have available that they accept and then from there it'll just expand and then give you the option to enter your card information and then you click on verify card when you're done so that's it when it comes to online ordering but now we're going to talk about paper ordering when you use that picture day envelope that we just talked about at the very beginning because now you're going to use that envelope to send in either cash or a check and on the envelope, it should tell you who to make the check out to. You just have to read and see what it tells you for that. But back to the envelope, um, it's going to similarly ask you some information for your student when you have to write this now by hand, preferably in pen, student's first and last name, teacher's last name, hopefully you know that, your student's grade, your mobile number in case there's a problem with your order, and your email address, not just if there's a problem for your order, but if there's also digital prints that are included in your package that they want to send to you. So that's really important. Make sure you include that or at least an email address you have access to or someone could help you with. 
and write legibly please so it's very easy to know what this information is. Now the biggest mistake we see done with these is that people will just choose something from section two and then put that in as their total or subtotal and that's not what you do. You have to start with one first. So with section one, you have to have a package. You cannot not have a package. You have to choose either the minimum one, the basic or the most expensive or something in between and then either add things to it or not. So the least that you're going to spend from what you see here in this example is $14.99 for a basic package. That's the minimum you have to put in. And then if you want to add something like an 8x10, a larger print, then you, from this section, you just write it in this column next to it. So you add it $14.99 plus $14.99 and you put that down here in the subtotal. So you have to do a little math computation and bust out your calculators because then on, that's not all. Then you got to add a 6% sales tax. So for this state, you got to add 6%. So that means you have to multiply that subtotal, whatever that is, by 0 0.06 to get what that sales tax is. So if I only got $14.99 basic package, if I did not get anything else, that would be 89.99 cents, which I can just round to 90 cents, 0 0.90 here in the tax. And when I add 0 0.90 to $14.99, then it's going to be $15.89 total. So that's another mistake that people do is they don't figure in the sales tax and they pay less than what they should. So LifeTouch will reach out to you if you don't pay sufficiently and you did everything else correct. That's not the end of the world, but it makes it more difficult because they have to go back and forth and they, they do need to get that, that, that balance that's left for everyone. And finally, don't forget to put in your student's first name here legibly, letter per letter in each of these boxes. So if your name is your child's name is John, J in one box, O, and then H, and then N. That's just, just for identification purposes on the picture's account. And that's it. That's it when it comes to online ordering. And for these paper envelopes, make sure that you do not send them in prior to picture day. They have to go in with your student on picture day. And you can tear this off at the perforation and just send in this part of the envelope. You can also seal it and it'll, it won't cover everything else up. It'll, it's actually not that deep of a seal, but it'll seal it so that if you don't want your child to get into the money or anyone else, you can put it in. You can remember, you can put in cash, exact cash. They're not going to give you back change. So you have to round it and be okay with whatever you round to. So for example, with that $15.89, I could put in $15 and that's $16 in there. That would be fine. Um, and that's it. That's all that you need to know when it comes to Life Touch and Student Picture Day. If you do any orders for a picture day that gets postponed or canceled due to bad weather or anything, it'll it'll roll over and you won't have to do anything. You can show up to the net, the postpone or the new picture day. Same thing if you ordered on for the original day and your child is absent, your order will move down down over roll over to the makeup day and you don't you don't have to do anything. So any online orders that don't get fulfilled because of something out of your control will still be honored when it's rescheduled or on the makeup day. There you go. And there you have it. Thank you.